Ladies and gentlemen, today uh, lecture I'm going to talk about the second part of lecture two and uh, again it's uh, AutoCAD basics uh, for my AutoCAD student here in Najman University. In the previous lecture I talked about uh, the ability to uh, use line with ortho to make a perpendicular line and drawing simple shapes like that and it would be really great if you go ahead and exercise uh, quickly the amount of or the group of shapes uh, except the circle of course that I just uh, show you here in this uh, in this PDF and I would recommend for you to repeat a couple of times each one of them uh, minimum let's say four or five in order to gain speed uh, because most of the students are actually complaining of the you know that they're not getting enough speed uh, when they work in AutoCAD and the only one thing is to do is to have a, a simple shape or a simple plan maybe next uh, and keep repeating it until you get uh, the sufficient speed that you are looking for Anyway, in, in today's lecture, I'm going to explain more in detail uh, regarding the, uh, the drawing lines. Specifically, uh, we need to know about the coordination system. So, so the first type of uh, coordination is, you know, the uh, cold Cartesian system or the X and Y that we really uh, have lots about it in the high school and it's basically assume there is an, an X axis and Y axis and Z axis and if I want to specify or start up a point uh, sorry, a line, we need a point, or actually two points, one here and one here, for example. So you go like two in X and one in Y to specify the start point and so on. The end point will be three in X and comma two in Y. So we base here in two numbers separated by a comma. So if I want to go here and apply that and I go L space, if you started by zero comma zero and hit space, uh, you'll notice that uh, uh, let me erase that. Sorry. If you start up by L space and then zero comma zero and hit space, you'll notice that uh, I need to turn off the F8. Notice that the AutoCAD started it from the zero zero. This is a basic absolute method of starting something, which is you 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 don't know where you start from, so you prefer to start from X and Y. Uh, intersection point which is zero zero and then you end up saying like a hundred comma hundred and then hit space so you have this line basically starting from zero zero ending in uh, hundred by hundred uh, usually no one likes to start from the X and Y and lots of architects prefer just go ahead and you know have L space and then click for their start point so in order to do so you have to specify or tell AutoCAD you don't want to start from the absolute zero zero point so you have to say shift and two which is this at or relative and again pressing shift and two and then you say like uh, you know a hundred and then comma a hundred and that will create that line here a uh, hundred and x hundred and y from the point so again you need to hit shift and two and then repeat the same step by giving x and then comma and then the y value that's the basic first method to draw with uh, to draw with lines and that's the basic uh, coordination system which is the Cartesian the second method is uh, basically the polar system and in the polar system it's, it's just like a 300 and uh, you know 360 degrees so you start up from 0 and 90 will be north uh, 180 will be west while 270 or minus 90 will go to south. So uh, let's uh, let's have a look and how to use this. So you go L space and you specify a point. Okay, and in order to draw our 100 by 100 square, uh, you just say again relative or shift and two or at whatever you want to call it, and then you give the length that you see here in blue in 59 amount. Uh, I'll say 100, and then you say shift and comma which is you know the angle symbol and then you say zero which is east see that's how it's been done so again uh, shift and two and then hundred which is the length then shift and comma and then 90 degree it might be a little bit painful as a method uh, to work and to remember here 180 but uh, again C space again you're gonna need this, especially when you draw the side, where is this angle is, where well, this line is actually angled by like a 30 degree. So it might go like this, you know, like a line with a hundred, 
with an angle of 30, for example, to start up, you know, the site and, uh, you know, uh, create the boundary for your uh, building. So, uh, you know, like uh, these shapes might require you, you know, like to know the specific angle in the, in, in the side borders instead of 100% perpendicular condition. So that's a, that's a basic tutorial to draw, or that's a basic concept to talk about, which is the Cartesian system and the polar system, which is both are the coordinating system that we're going to depend on here in AutoCAD. So if we go ahead and um, uh, if we go ahead here and have a little bit of an exercise, have a look at this shape or these shapes. Uh, they are very, very basics, like a 200 mil and then 200 mil separated by a 30 degree. You can start up from here and then draw a line and then cut it and then come again to the start point here and go that way. But it would really, uh, you know, like uh, a good idea to think uh, uh, or pre-plan what you are going to do. It will be easier for you if you start up from here, going that way and then that way. Uh, that's, a, that's a nice way of thinking it. And I here prepare for you a six shapes, actually. Uh, for example, this you go from the far east to the middle and then to go that way so let's exercise let's exercise that let's do this one for example and it's 200 by 200 with a 30 degree and again uh, it's very easy exercise so I'll start up here and uh, without f8 I need to cancel that so you know uh, relative let's say 200 that's the length with an angle of as long as I'm going to the waist it will be 180 and then you have to go another 200 with an angle of 30 to get this shape. So if you go DAN, which is we're going to talk about that command later, it's going to give you like, you know, the angle of 30 between them. Now, if you go back to this shape here, you see it's 135, but 135 from the X axis. So you either subtract that from the 360, or as long as it's going that way, not that way, you know, like you have to make it minus 135. So let's draw that. So again, L, and then you're going to start from this point shift into 200 with an angle of minus sorry with an angle of 180 so it goes straight and now we go relative 200 with an angle of minus 135 so when you go dan to start up to know or put dimension for the angle you'll start up it's 135 don't go positive 135 and otherwise you're gonna go that way so that's a, that's a uh, like a basic uh, two commands that we can deal, uh, or the basic idea that we can deal with, you know, drawing uh, an object uh, that we don't, uh, sorry, based on an, an angle. Uh, we can go ahead here and exercise this, you know, this drawing. And uh, again, it's 200, uh, uh, the dimension here, the small bit where the rest is 1000 by 1000. So, you know, like, it, think that you don't go from there and try to know that way, or to go that way, you don't know the, the exact angle. So it's a good idea to go from uh, this point, for example, and then go 800, 1000, 1800, and then close this uh, geometry. Uh, or you can go from this point and go the other way around. So uh, let's come here and try to do that. I will click here, and then I'll go down uh, shift uh, and two eight hundred with an angle of minus ninety, and uh, I can go relative one thousand with an angle of hundred and eighty, and then relative a uh, one thousand with an angle of ninety, and then another relative eight hundred with an angle of zero, and then I can see space to close that. And again, remember that you have subcommands like close and undo to get uh, the command, or to get uh, the, the line that you start up to close to the start, to its the start point that uh, make that a close shape like that. So uh, lots of uh, lots of command you can exercise, lots of uh, possibilities you can do with knowing or by knowing this basic technique. I know using F8 will be uh, seriously easier. 1,000 and, and so on, uh, 4,000. Again, again, this guy, you don't know this value and you don't know this value again so uh, I'll, I'll show you how to draw this I'll start up basically from this point and then go uh, the other way around so I'll use F8 this time you know to reduce the pain uh, yep so again it's uh, 2500 and then you go up with an amount of 5000 let's say 
and then 4000 to the left it's way much faster if you used uh, the the of eight of course and then you go 9000 that's a 3000 actually see nice I made this mistake so you don't need to escape and cut the command just hit U space to get back to the previous line and then give it the 3000 I'll move my hand to the right and it's 9000 for some reason there's a line type in here anyway so just drag that down and um, uh, it's basically the way we draw it is that we don't know what length is this so just assuming it's too long or whatever it's anything longer than this guy and again it's just a line we don't know how long it is but it's a 30 degree so I'll go here and then click and then I go relative let's say I don't know 10,000 maybe because I don't know how much with an angle of 30 so that's what I want you to do like it's a disregarding those two things that's the geometry that we want you to end up with and in order to clean that just hit TR again space space so two spaces and then click on the parts that you don't want and this uh, very basic you know uh, way of using uh, a polar system and Cartesian system and ortho a very basic a simple shape uh, can be done in a couple of uh, uh, seconds actually so uh, that's it for uh, this lecture which is the second part and I will continue with you on lecture 2 part 3 to explain for you another set of commands like circles and uh, polygon wish that you find this uh, basic tutorial about AutoCAD uh, useful thank you very much and have a good day